Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Mansur from Cat Micro Solutions, and today we would be seeing uh, uh, how to do a version control using SVN uh, that comes uh, inbuilt with Altium Designer. Uh, we do not need any external clients, it is very easy to perform revision control. If you have multiple versions of a specific project, you can go back and forth using Altium Designer. Uh, the things that we would need to perform this uh, version control would be an SVN engine and uh, a design repository. So an SVN engine would perform all the back-end operations of your revision control and uh, the design repository would be used to save uh, all your project files under a specific uh, location where you could perform again your version control. So to to see how this uh, gets done let's open our Altium Designer. Let's, <coughs> let's hit DXP preferences and under data management we would select version control option we have uh, the concurrent version system or the subversion. Uh, for this demo, we would stick with the SVN subversion. Uh, Altium also gives us options uh, to use either the built-in subversion or the external subversion. Um, the to choose uh, an external subversion, it is very easy. It's, uh, it, you just need to click on uh, external subversion, and it would give you options to point to uh, an external subversion executable. Today, we will stick with the inbuilt uh, subversion. The next step is to create a design repository. I'm going to create a new design repository for this specific uh, example. Hit create new, click SVN. Uh, the naming should be meaningful for our feature reference. So I'm going to type version control demo over here. And then I choose, uh, and then I need to choose a specific location to save all my uh, files in this specific design repository. It could either be on your local machine or on your uh, server if you want to share your files with uh, uh, with your designers. So I'm again going to create an SVN folder, hit OK, then click OK to add this design repository to my Altium Designer. To finish this process, I'm going to just click Apply and OK. And then the next part would be to add our project to our version control repository. To do that, I'm going to hit File, Open Project, and I'm going to use one of the example project that I have, which is uh, which is not yet added. Uh, to the design repository. So let's choose the split level project that comes with Altium Designer installation. Hit open. Let's open one of the schematics where we would perform uh, revisions. So we'll use this power schematics. The first step is to add this a project to our design repository. To do that, I just need to right click on the project, click version control, and then add project folder to version control. Here it gives me option to choose which repository that I wanted to uh, I wanted to be saved. Once I've chose uh, I've chosen my repository, I'm going to create a new folder where this project would be saved. Hit OK. So this adds all of the project related files to that specific repository. Once I'm happy with the selection, I just need to click OK to to complete the process. So this step would add a plus mark sign to all of my project uh, documents which means that I have not yet performed my first commit. This is uh, this has been added to the design repository but uh, not yet committed. This means that. So before I do that let me open my storage manager and uh, arrange the real estate uh, so that I could see the number of commits that I perform and the number of revisions, the date and time that I perform my revisions. So let me arrange this real estate so that it would be easier for me to refer. So let's do that. Once I'm happy with my storage manager, I'm going to go back to my project folder and then perform some of the edits. So the first commit would add the project to my design repository. So I'm going to add a comment saying that this is my first commit which will be my default version. I'm going to type that and hit OK. So this would add uh, a tick mark to my uh, project files, which means that my project was successfully added to the design repository. Right? So to see that, I'm going to hit Local Storage Manager. And then here it would show me the revisions that I performed. So it automatically adds those uh, comments and the time of the commit uh, to the storage manager. The next step is to perform some edits to the schematics to create a second revision. 
let's select the schematics and move it over here then perform a save so let's save the project to see what happens to that project uh, icon and then perform the schematics to see what happens to the schematics icon so uh, both these icons got modified because the project uh, the schematic document was part of the project right and then let's come again and add a second uh, comment so this adds a second revision to my project to see that again I hit storage manager and I could see here my first and second revisions so to move back and forth I just need to right click on that project uh, on that specific uh, revision and hit revert to so to do that again right click revert to and this say this, this goes to the latest revision if I again want to come back I just need to choose uh, revision 11 and hit revert to so you see here the schematics got moved so again go back to the previous version I hit revert to and it goes back so it's that easy the next step is to come with this project to complete our process so to do that I'm going to hit right click version control commit whole project <coughs> I'm going to hit OK to finish this I'm not going to put any comment so the coolest thing that we can do with this revision control is to see what difference that we made between uh, between two revisions so to do that I did a small edit over there and I'm going to save this project first and then again commit it to perform a third revision I'm going to type here third revision third revision to finish that I'm going to hit the OK button and then to see the differences I'm going to right click on the project hit show local history and once I hit compare this would open a differences window which gives us option to see what and all differences that we made between those two revisions right uh, down to the power port level so we could see which wire got changed and which component got moved um, to remove the project from version control it is very easy you just need to right click on the project and then hit remove version control so that um, concludes our demo to finish this uh, I'm, I'm just going to save this project and then close the project tree thanks for watching